It's the summertime. Maybe you want a break from hockey. That's the struggle that I face, because I don't. Do some golf videos or something. Tennis. That's what people say to me. Hmm, let me think about it. Nah. I need to make something so crazy that people that don't even play hockey or watch hockey will be like, whew, that looks like a lot of fun. I gotta start playing hockey. With the help of Hockey Shot, we created the floating hockey rink. You may have seen the video, but in this video, I'm gonna give you some behind the scenes. I'm gonna play some uh, video that I shot on my cell phone. I'm gonna play the theatric release of the video as well, but then tell you what really happened uh, and, and basically my experience. So let's go. You're not listening yeah, to me. I'll do it on Tuesday. No. Are you thinking about that rink again? Yeah, there has to be a way to skate on the lake in the summertime. Ugh. We've talked about this a million times. It's not going to happen. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's coming through. This is it. This is the spot. Okay, okay, so the first break here behind the scenes. Um, obviously there's a little bit of make-believe going on there. Did I uh, get all the material and build that rink by hand? No, I probably would have, uh, but in this case I had some help and I wasn't gonna say no. What we did do ourselves was pretty simple. Uh, we needed to do a Home Depot run, get a, a truck, fill it with uh, material and just drop it off at the rink. Uh, I should say the beach, actually. The problem is there wasn't really a road going to the beach and we ran into a little bit of trouble. You cannot turn anymore. No. Nah. Um, well, I mean, it's a steel box, so maybe you'll be all right. This ended up being uh, pretty comical because it just kept getting worse. At first, we just barely made it down to the beach. Then we had to get back, but we couldn't back the truck up, so we had to turn around. The only place to turn around was on the sand, which uh, sand and heavy vehicles does not mix, as you can see here. We needed a tow. Whoa, no! Don't that ice, that No tow truck is gonna come get us, so. We had some people pushing, some people pulling, and eventually uh, one of the local guys went and got his truck, which he made it down that trail. The dodge showed up, but the dodge got stuck in the tractor rut, which eventually pulled out the four. Friend, come on out here, we need you. Bring your truck. And the day was saved, everything was in place to build the rink. Except one really important thing, the synthetic ice. It was missing, we didn't know where it was. The delivery company was supposed to bring it 9 a.m. the next day, and it was nowhere to be found. We eventually got word from the delivery company, oh yeah, no problem, we're gonna have it there by 3 p.m. Except the rink was supposed to be built at eight in the morning, so we were completely messed. Basically, shoots over, we've got all these pro players that are gonna show up to the rink, and it just won't be there, uh, so we were in trouble. So we said, where is it? It's an hour and a half away, no problem, we're gonna get it. We called a U-Haul, we rented a U-Haul, we called some friends, we got them all together, we organized it so that we could go and get the synthetic ice ourselves from the shipping warehouse, have it all loaded up, and then deliver it ourselves so we could be there in time. And uh, luckily, we pulled that off, we got the synthetic ice there, and uh, well, this is what we built. <laughs> Hey, mind if I join?
go to um, make a rocket ship and go to the moon, blast into the moon, and we can make a hockey moon. On the moon? Yeah. More! Let's do it! More. Give me a big one. Boom! To a hockey rink on the moon. There it is, a floating hockey rink. A crazy idea I had about two years ago that morphed into, well, what you just saw there. And the moral of the story, uh, the point of the video, is to dream. And dream bigger. Dream about crazy things that you could never imagine happening and just keep that idea. Let it sit there. Let it percolate and keep on kind of poking at it until all the pieces come together. Because companies said no I tried doing this a few years ago uh, no I can't do this liabilities insurance blah 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 it can be done you know I just had to find the right people and get them all working together so I just kept bringing it up the boys at hockey shot they pulled through they made the connections and uh, hey dreams became reality so dream big think about crazy stuff it's okay first you get the dream and one day some days sometimes everything comes together and you can make it happen. That's it, hope you enjoyed the video and hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna keep on making these hockey videos in the summer, in the spring, in the winter, in the fall because hey, I love hockey. How to hockey baby, got it on the wall. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.